April, how can you do this to me? How can you be so vindictive as to make me pay for one little impulsive mistake the rest of my life? Raven, I'm not trying to punish you. If you give Logan that letter, I will lose every chance I have of getting Jamie back. You might as well stick a knife right in my heart. How can you hate me so much? I don't hate you. Well, then why can't you believe I've changed? I'd love to believe it, but the fact is I already know what kind of a parent Logan is. The only reason you're on Logan's side is because he's Draper's best friend. That has absolutely nothing to do with Look, it. Look, I realize that you have certain loyalties, but don't you think you ought to do what's right? I am doing what's right. What's right for Jamie. Ever since Jamie has been with me, he's been a very happy little boy. I've taken very good care of well, him. Well, he needs very good care taken of him all the time, not just when the mood strikes you. I'm going to be a full-time mother from now on. Raven, you had that chance, and let's face it, you blew it. This letter wouldn't even exist if one day you hadn't woken up and decided that that baby was just a little too much trouble Come for you. Come on, you know what was happening to me. At the time, I was upset. I didn't know what I was doing. And besides, don't you think that you could raise a baby a lot better than a man? Logan Look, hires babysitters all the time. Logan spends as much time as he possibly can with that baby. Which isn't much, and you know it. He's a workaholic. He's in that office every day and many nights. There are mothers who work too, Raven. As a matter of fact, I plan on going back to work myself someday. Julia will be your first priority. Jamie is Logan's second priority. Why won't you believe me? The most important thing in my life is my son. I don't even have anything else. You know, Raven, it's, it's really funny. I, I mean, I, th I think you really believe what you're saying, at least for the moment. I mean every word of it. My son is my entire future. And if you give Logan that letter, you'll make me miserable the rest of my life. I've already promised Logan the letter. But well, why can't he come over here? Why can't he come over here right now while I'm here? Please, will you just give me a chance? Raven, I don't even know if he would come over here. But don't you think this is a little too important for you two just to decide by yourselves? Please, April. April, how are you? What's up? Um, good. Listen, I called to tell you about a change in plans. Well, what's the matter? Can't get a sitter? Raven's here. She is? What does she want? Oh, psh, never mind. I shouldn't have asked that. You're not going to give it to her, are you? No, of course not. Well, what is it then? You can tell me. Well, I just thought uh, maybe you could come over here and the three of us could sit down and discuss this. Okay, I'll be right over. Thank you for making that call. Raven, I hope you uh, realize that this... I haven't changed my mind I, about giving Logan the letter. You do realize that, don't you? We'll see. This isn't a contest, you know, where the uh, person with the best argument is going to win the letter. Nor do I want this to turn into a shouting match. I'll be very civilized. I want the three of us to sit down like, like mature adults and to make a, a realistic appraisal of the situation. Fine. What I would like to come out of this meeting is a, a, a compromise so that a very messy custody battle will be unnecessary. Great. <sighs> Could I see Julia? What? I haven't seen her in a while. I probably don't even remember what she looks like. <sighs> Raven, look, as, as much as I would love to show off my daughter, she happens to have a habit of this time of day. She sleeps. Um, it's just that ever since I've been back with Jamie, I, I really like watching babies. <laughs> you know, the way they learn about themselves and look at the environment. It's just fascinating. Maybe I could just go up and take a peek. I'll be real quiet. No. No, I don't think that would be a very good idea. Uh, listen, uh, if you'll excuse me for a second, I think I will check on it. Okay. Uh, could I use your telephone? I want to call my babysitter. Good morning. It was a lovely day. I thought we should meet out here. Honey, I feel there's a dark cloud hanging over my head. Oh, really? It's probably just guilt because you know it was wrong to try to take away my little baby. Uh, Raven, Raven, we came here to uh, discuss this to work out a compromise. Yeah, if we're just going to try and goad each other into a fight, uh, there's no point in my being here. I'll leave Logan, now. wait a minute. Now, I love him. In the short time that we have been together, I've grown very attached to him, and I do not want to give him up. I've heard all this before. I mean, your inflection is better, but then you've had time to rehearse. What do I have to do to prove to you that I love my baby? How about letting him come to a home where he's wanted? He's got that. I am now legally Jamie's father. 
Cliff has dug up some very good precedents for me, plus I've got you on a charge of abandonment. I stand a very good chance of shooting you down in court, and that letter clinches it. Now, why am I here? What do you want to talk to me about? Look, I'm willing to be reasonable. I'll believe that when I see it. Perhaps we can work out some sort of visitation rights, maybe shared custody. Now, that may be fair to you both, Logan. What do you think about that? It's up to a court to decide that once it's seen the facts. And it won't have seen the facts until it sees that letter. It's part of the evidence. It's part of the truth. Isn't it? Yes. I'll get the letter. You must be very proud of yourself. You sure did a job on her. I'm sure you're proud of the job you did on me when you took Jamie out of the hospital. All I did was go in and pick up my poor sick baby after you and your police babysitters nearly let him die. You really think you're going to get him away from me, don't you? That's exactly what I intend to do, yes. You have half the town on your side, including April. April's on Jamie's side. Hmm. You've certainly won her over completely. Tell me something. How'd you do it? Was it uh, tea and sympathy or perhaps a little moonlight and roses? I'm sorry, Logan. Why do you have to be so hard on me? I know I've done a lot of rotten things in my life, but I'm different. Different? That's funny. I look at you and see exactly the same woman I made the mistake of marrying. If you see the same woman, you must still want me. No, Raven. All I want from you is that you take very good care of Jamie until this custody suit is settled. All right. All right, I will return him to you in good condition. There, you see, I admit it. You win and I lose. Let me see that. That's a forgery. Forgery. The real letter, forgery. Raven. Raven! Do you see it? Yeah. Raven, oh, by the corner. Write us down. I'm going to go get it. All right. It wasn't deliberate, Logan. Not deliberate. You're not going to get away with this. I'm going to find that letter. I'm going to make you eat it in open court. Raven, you planned this whole thing, didn't you? I mean, you didn't want Logan up here to talk about any letter. It was all part of your little scheme. You don't think I was really going to let Logan keep that letter, do you? Oh, he'll keep it, Raven. He will find it, he will pick it up, and he'll keep it within five minutes. Well, how could I have planned this? If I had planned this, I would have picked a plan that worked. Well, what did you expect? That the wind was going to carry your letter right over the river? My God, you are contemptible. Spare me your speeches. If you were in my shoes, you'd do the same damn if thing. If I were in your shoes, I never would have abandoned my baby to begin with. So you think I'm doing this whole thing just to hurt Logan? The idea did occur to me. Oh, you can't possibly believe that I love Jamie just as much as you love Julia. Well, I don't know how that exactly is supposed to be meant now. Is that, a, is that a compliment to you or an insult to me? He is my son. He's my own flesh and blood. Of course I love him. This time, spare me, Raven. Spare it's me. true. At heart, we're the same. You would kill for your child, and so would I. Haven't the things that I have done to get Jamie back and keep him proven to you my sincerity? All that has proved to me is that you will bend over backwards to cause a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Well, I am going to keep custody of Jamie. And you can bet every cent that your mama gave you on that. Do you know, Raven, I have never met anyone like you in my whole entire life. No one can run that hot and that cold. The first year of your baby's life, you couldn't even acknowledge his existence, and now you expect me and everybody else to accept the belief that that baby is the driving force in your life? What is it? Tell me, what is it that you stand to gain from all of this? All of those months in London, without my baby, made me realize how much I needed him. <sighs> now I have to go, because if Logan doesn't find that letter, he's going to throw me off the terrace. Before I go, though, I have to ask you one more favor. I don't believe you. You honestly do not know when to quit. Well, forget it. What's the use, anyway? You're on his side. I don't have a chance. It's just that I thought you would understand. You have my sympathies as well. I want you to know that. Yeah. What else do you want? Well, I'd like to ask you one little question, then I'll be on my way. All right. 
What is it? Will you grant permission to have an autopsy performed on your mother's body? What? Now, I know it's asking a lot, and this is a bad time, but it's very, very important. Why? It's the only way we can come up with an explanation as to the cause of the accident that took your mother's life. Forget it. Absolutely not. Don't you want to know why she lost control of the car? Not particularly. It's not going to give her back her life. At least give it some thought, Raven. No! If you think I'm going to let you and your morbid friends get your jollies by cutting up my mother, you are crazy. I wouldn't ask you this unless it was absolutely necessary. All I want is a little peace for my mother. And I would like a little peace myself. It has been a particularly trying day. So if you will excuse me. Why don't we talk about this again in the morning when you're less No! Upset? I said N-O. Can't you understand that? Now, will you please leave? Raven, don't Good fight night, me on this. detective. There will be an autopsy performed. Over my dead body. Consent of next of kin is the simplest way of getting an autopsy performed, but it's not the only way, Raven. Good night. So, Derek, I assume that you have assigned your ace detective to the case. Deborah Saxon is a member of the investigative team, yeah? Great, then this case should be cracked in no time. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Raven. You're welcome. I just know that you have a gift for minding other people's business, so it should be a cinch for you to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to do my best. Do you have any leads? That uh, information is strictly confidential, at least for the time being. As a matter of fact, Raven, I do have one suspect. And I'm going to do everything in my power to bring that person to justice as soon as possible. Wonderful. Why don't you start tracking down this nefarious person so Derek and I can have a private conversation? In a minute. I think if I'm going to conduct a thorough investigation, though, I should uh, ask you a couple of questions. You want a statement from me? What do I have to say to you? I don't know. You were a very good friend of Elliot's. Yes, I was a good friend. A long time ago. So when was the last time you saw him? Look, you'll just have to take my word for it that I have nothing to tell you that might help you crack this case. And as much as I would like to have a chat, I cannot give you any statements because I have to be in the courtroom in an hour. Oh, all right. Then I will see you uh, at your house later this afternoon, maybe this evening. Don't bother. I have nothing to say. Nothing to say? Nothing to say to me. Will you leave me alone? You know, refusing to cooperate could be considered obstruction of justice. Derek, do I have to stand here and take this harassment? All right, detective. I'll take care of getting Raven's statement. Luck. Here, two, I'll give you the murderer. Mrs. Scott, I have to tell you, there was no way to stop her. Oscar said that she was already in the elevator. I guess he thinks she's invited to Hello, the party. Hello, everybody. I know, I know, April, you forgot to invite me to your little party, but uh, here I am. Damn it, Raven, you weren't invited. Oh, my goodness, then that makes me a party crasher, doesn't it? But I'm sure it's all right with you, April and Draper, because we, we so rarely get together for a social event. As a matter of fact, Raven, it isn't. You have invited yourself up to this apartment once too often. Oh, well, don't worry. It'll never happen again, really. Thank you, Cliff. You see, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to uh, come here, all my conspirators in the same room. Come on, Raven. No. Actually, that's not true. There's one missing. I'm surprised you didn't invite Deborah Saxon here. For heaven's sake, Raven, stop making a fool of yourself. But it was just too good an opportunity to come here and tell you all exactly what I think of you, how much I loathe and despise each and every one of you. That's enough, Raven. Let's go home, shall we? <gasps> all right, Raven, you've delivered the message. Now get back in the elevator no, and push no, the down. No, no, no. I haven't even begun to deliver my message. You're all so proud of yourselves, aren't you? <laughs> Look at you! Congratulating yourself on how clever you were in the courtroom. After what happened this morning, it's proved how really deceitful you are. Why don't you tell us about it, Raven? Did you know that Elliot Dorn had your letter? Of course she knew, Mike. That's why she was sneaking around Elliot Dorn's office last night, No, wasn't it? I didn't know Elliot Dorn had my letter. Oh, didn't you? You didn't post Elliot Dorn outside the lobby and then make a paper airplane out of the letter? Oh, my hmm? God, that's exactly how it happened. She threw the letter off the terrace and he was standing there yes. ready to pick it up. Is that the story, Raven? Why don't you want to save it, Raven? You'd have been better off destroying it. Shut up! We all just shut up? I don't want to hear another word about that letter. You know, maybe you didn't know that Elliot Dorn was out there. 
Was he uh, pulling a number on you? Look, it doesn't matter. No, nothing matters but your revenge, you right? You're not out of this apartment within two minutes. That's I'm true. The police. That's true. You don't give a damn about Jamie. The only thing you care about, the only reason you want him back is so you can hurt me. I am warning you. Take Ray, it easy, Abel. She'll be gone. You, little Miss Innocent. I bet this whole party was your idea, right? Yes. Yes, you just wanted to gloat over your triumph. <sighs> you don't care about Jamie either. The only thing you care about is taking men away from damn me. Damn it, Raven, stop it. You think she wanted you? You think you're such a great catch? She wanted you because you were engaged to me, and she just wanted to see if she could take you away. I was finished with you a long time before I met April. Don't argue with the her, The same Drifter. thing hysterical. goes for you too, Logan. That's why she wanted you. That's why she came to you with her little fluttery eyelashes and her chocolate candy kisses. That's enough. Leave me alone! Just... I hate you, Raven. I hate Raven, you all. I can kill you. Let go of me! I hate you all. I wish you were all dead. All I want is my baby! Turn people against you, Raven. There was a conspiracy with you and my car and everybody else down there in that room. All we wanted was the truth. You knew that letter was genuine and you went into that courtroom and you lied. Whose conspiracy is that? Yours or ours? Now you're going to take my baby away from me. Don't you understand? He's the only thing that I have left. Sing another tune, Raven. You hate playing mother. You know it. Well, then why did I do all those things you're accusing me of? It's because I want my baby. Well, let's leave her alone. She can have her cry, then she no. can go away. No, please don't leave. Don't go away. I don't want to be alone. Logan, I want to talk to you. All right, you want to have another shot at me in private? Is that it? Why can't you understand? Why can't you look at me the way I really am? I want to change. Don't you see? I just want to have a family. A family doesn't matter to you. I don't have a mother. I don't have a father. I don't have anybody. Your story touches me deeply. Logan, when the judge gives his decision tomorrow, if he gives you custody, you don't have to accept. You must be joking. Can't you give me custody? All I want is legal custody. Please. Look, uh, you can have him. He can live with you. I'll, I'll make some kind of agreement. I'll do anything you want. That's a contradiction, Raven. If you have legal custody, that means you have Jamie. I just want my baby to be mine, don't you see? Look, I... I won't even have to see him that much. I'll, I'll visit him once a week, once a month. Whatever you want, I'll do whatever you want. The answer is no. Well, then why can't we both be the parents again? Please, let's get back together. Look, I know you used to love me. April is gone now. Please. Logan, please, can't we be a family again? You really must be out of your mind, Raven, if you think there's any chance of us getting back together. when I first had Jamie, don't you remember? Can't you love me like that again? Don't you want to be happy? Sure. Of course I do. Maybe I don't know what would make me happy, but I certainly know what wouldn't. I'll be different. I'll be good. I promise. Please. Look, we can live a wonderful life. We can. We, we can go away together. We'll go on vacation. Don't you think we've earned that? I'll tell you what you've earned, Raven. You've earned a rejection from Judge Lewis tomorrow. I don't know whether you'll get it. I certainly hope so, because if it happens, I want Jamie back. I want him back as soon as you can bundle up his little baby things. Now, if you will excuse me. I have another court appointment this afternoon. Logan! 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 Raven, you cannot just barge into my office unannounced. Now, what do I have to do to keep you out? This is not a social call. It's police business. What Deborah Saxon and I do is police business. Yes, how come every time I come to this office, she's here? You mean when you force your way in here, don't you? It's instinct, darling. Self-preservation. I'm just protecting my interests. All right, Raven, that's it. Come on. Out of here. What are you going to do? Call a cop? He doesn't have to. I'm well trained in that sort of thing. You touch me and I'll sue you for police brutality. I am here about Cliff Nelson. What about Cliff Nelson? Do you know something, Ray? No, I don't know anything. That's what I came to find out. Well, he's all right. You want to visit him? He's in Monticello General. 
He's such a silly, harmless person. Who would want to kill him? It's like trying to kill Laurel and Hardy. We don't know the motive and we don't know the assailant. Which doesn't mean we don't have now clues. Now, shut up. Clues what? What clues? Uh, I'm sorry, that's classified information, Ray. Well, you can tell me. You can trust me. I was one of his best friends. You'll find out when we release it to the public. Oh, so you don't trust me. You're treating me like a civilian. It's exactly what you are, and civilians belong in my outer office. Wait a minute, Chief. Maybe Raven can help us if she was such a good friend of Cliff's. Hey, wait a minute. I have nothing to say. I only found out about this a half an hour ago. Yes, Helen. Are they still on the line? No, put them on hold. I need to talk to them myself. I'll be right in there. I'm needed in the TCR. Okay, I was finished with my report anyway. And, Chief, I'll follow up on your suggestion about getting a list of indicted criminals. Please do that. And, Raven, I hope that's the last time you burst into my office unannounced. Well, now that the most interesting person in the room is gone, I think I'll leave, too. Just a minute. I have a couple of questions to ask you. Like what? When was the last time you saw Cliff? I don't have to answer that question. Was it the night he caught you in Elliot Dorn's office looking for your letter? No, it wasn't. It was at April and Draper's, and I was looking for a solid gold compact. Oh, and how'd you two get along? Beautifully, thank you. As a matter of fact, he saw me home. What are you getting at? Oh, God. First, you accuse me of murdering my mother. Then you accuse me of killing Elliot Dorn, and now this. Well, you look like you could kill me right now, Raven. Don't tempt me. I said to Derek, who would want to hurt poor little Cliffy Nelson? Okay, well, I'm six foot two, and I can take care of myself. If oh, you get... Cliff, come on. You're just a silly, harmless little guy. Well, you didn't think so when you were sneaking around the unicorn, or, or what about in court, or when I took you home from the Scots, huh? Well, all right. So you've done some silly things, but I still don't understand why someone would do this to you. Of course, you never know. <laughs> there are a lot of crazy people running around. Yeah, sure are. I... Look, Raven, they just gave me a sedative, and I gotta fall asleep. Why don't you go now? Are you sure you don't know who did this? Uh, I mean, usually you're so perceptive. I'm perceiving that I'm falling asleep now. Look, you gotta go. Maybe it was someone who bears a grudge against you, someone that you said something rather stupid to. Oh, no, no. People get offended, you know, Cliff. I mean, not everyone knows you the way I do. They take offense at things you say, like, for instance, when you said that you thought I killed Elliot Dorn. Did I say that? Yes. Yes, baby, you did. You said you thought I killed Elliot Dorn in cold blood. Look, you know, the doctors don't make rounds now. Oh, come I, on, Cliff, don't do that. No, you do don't, Raven. Cliff. Raven. Don't, you don't need oh, a nurse. Oh, oh. Now, I can help you. Oh, come Raven. on, Cliff, you, 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 you get lost out. a lot of strength, and you've just been through a shock, and sometimes you have a delayed reaction. Now, you look uncomfortable. Your pillow is sort of flat. I don't need any help, Why don't I get Raven? you another pillow? I don't need another pillow. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Pillow. Raven. Raven, what are you doing? Raven! Raven, what are you doing? Raven! Oh, excuse us. Ah. See? Feel much better. Hello, Raven. Hi. Um, I was just checking to see if Cliff is okay, but now I see he's in good hands, so I'll just leave. Uh, bye. How are you feeling, Cliff? I'm feeling fine. Look, you might as well admit it, Raven. It's going to be a lot better for you if you do. You're lying. This is a bluff, isn't it? You think you can trick me, Saxon, but you can't. Uh, would you mind if I took Jamie into the other room? I wish you would. Thank you. Oh, off we go, darling. And I wish you would leave, because I'm really tired of looking at your face. Oh, wait a minute, Raven. You don't live here. No, my husband does. Well, my stepmother pays the rent. Oh, well then, if you won't leave, I think I will. Well, I don't think you should be that foolish. I think you should stay right here and tell me the truth. 
Who is this witness? I don't have to give you any names at all. That's because you can't think of any names at all. You can come down to headquarters anytime you want and talk to this witness face to face, Raven, and deny it. But I don't think you want to perjure yourself again, do you? I didn't do anything. I did not kill Elliot Dorn. You had a motive to kill Elliot Dorn because he was going to kill your chances of getting Jamie and his inheritance. Will you stop badgering me? All right, I'll take Let go of me. Why did I come back to Monticello? You came back for Jamie and his inheritance. That's why you came back. And when it was threatened, you had to do something. So you went down to the Unicorn that night, didn't you? All right, but I didn't stay. I did go to see Elliot, but I did not stay. So you did go to the Unicorn that night, didn't you? Yes, I went there. Are you satisfied? I was there. The Edge of Night will not be seen tomorrow because of an ABC after-school special. Watch a movie star's daughter on the after-school special tomorrow at 3.